guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 11 of season 2 of Miss Kobayashi's May Dragon. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh! <laughs> and she made that crap like <laughs> oh Jesus Christ <laughs> oh Lord <laughs> Call me some uh, Mm -mm -mm. Peace and joy. Oh, I thought it would be like for your side. <laughs> Are you sure about that, hun? Or he literally could have just taken her to the spa and I think she would have been fine. Oh. No. No comment. <laughs> Which is, mm. she needs to kind of really just like sit up straight, but sometimes that is hard for people. That's it, yeah. She could get one of those like ball type chairs. <laughs> oh. 
Seriously? But yeah, but there's always a price to pay, though. You may not pay for it now, but you will later, possibly. Oh, Toro. Sometimes, you know, yeah, we have those problems. <laughs> Yeah. Her dad.
Paris. Oh my god, she's so cute. Oh, Mm. Of course. Mm hmm. Because she wants to live in peace. Yeah. Who knows if she's ready to talk about this? Of course, typical father. No. <laughs> mm. 
Mm-hmm. That is if you want to talk about it. You're just curious, yeah. Mm. Oh, God, Because she felt trapped.
Oh, baby. Hmm. Oh, babe. Oh. <laughs> That was sweet. I mean, woo, this episode was really dark, especially for her backstory. Because, I mean, like, from what I remember from season one, we did get a lot, but I remember once I finished season one, I had a lot of unanswered questions that I wanted to, like, get answered as soon as possible. But at the same time, I was like, you know what? Take your time. It's okay. And thank God I didn't read the manga because I didn't want to get spoiled on this at that time so many freaking years ago. But... <laughs> I mean, to see everybody, like, way before she, you know, you know, uh, met Kobayashi was sweet. Like, oh, I didn't think they were going to show that, but, like, uh, my heart. Like, oh, my God. Like, also, and then seeing Kobayashi, uh, not Kobayashi, mm, Toru's dad again. <laughs> After the buttload of the season one finale and such, and I'm like, oh, my God, but... Oh god, he he still sometimes in a way rubs me the wrong way. He kind of reminds me of an overprotective dad, but he's only doing it because he loves Toru and such. But sometimes he's a little too teeny tiny bit too much. But I get it. Like I said, you know, loves his daughter, you know, ish so much. I think there are some moms who do that to their sons. It, it happens. <laughs> it's life. But oh, this. The feels for this episode. Jesus Christ. You got me. You got me good. Aww. I cannot believe next week is the final episode. It just feels like this show just started. And now we're officially ending season two. Who knows if this is going to be getting a season three. Um... Maybe we'll get something next week, but I mean, it, it's just, it, it's nuts to think that like we are already at the end of this. I was expecting the show to go, I think, because like what season one had 13 episodes because I remember uh, screwing up and thinking episode 12 was the last episode of season one. And then I saw the preview because I had literally put like my final thoughts in it and everything in the 12th episode. And then I saw that preview and I was like, oh, okay, scratch everything I just said. <laughs> <laughs> um, because at the same time I was like I don't want this to end and because I was I think at that time I was barely following um a lot of people on Twitter so I didn't really get to see like oh hey this isn't the last episode this is the second to last episode up until when I did the video so many freaking years ago and such but I mean this was a, this was a really good episode very dark I, I think you know this was one of those it was like very needed in a way. I mean, this was something that, as I said, I truly wanted to see for like the longest time because Toru is one of those characters, really everybody, all the dragons are types of characters that, you know, we get to maybe see like during their first season or initially with it'll do their second season or really their first introduction. Um, we get to maybe see like a teeny tiny like little tease of their backstories and such. But when the show usually gets a second or third season, that is when you get maybe like almost a full adaptation or a full arc of their backstory. But I feel like at the same time, there still is a lot more like that needs to be taught or like unanswered that we don't know about. So kind of, I think if the show was confirmed for a season three by next week, and let's say that they decide to do like a spinoff to show Toru's life a little bit more before she met Kobayashi, I think that would be really interesting. Um, 
at, at the end of the day, it is up to them. But this was a really good episode. I just want my season three, please. <laughs> Even though we are not there yet, I mean, it would be nice. I don't care if I have to wait, like, five more years for season three. I mean, shit, we've, <laughs> we waited a long-ass time for this second season. And I think if we have to... I'm fine with waiting a little bit longer for season three or, you know, anything that they want to truly do with this series because I love it so freaking much. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction feature. It's episode 11 of season two of Miss Kobayashi's May Dragon. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for the final episode. Bye, guys.